How's everybody doing today? Smoking cigars with Hal and Blind. Today is Sunday, July the 19th, I believe it is. July the 19th. Sunday, blue, July 19th. Here's what I'm going to fire up, baby. That's my Casa Magna Grand Toro. Casa Magnas are produced in Nicaragua, blended and made by Manny Casada and Nestor Placencia. Manny Casada, I don't know if he still does, but he oversaw the uh, Matassa plant in Dominican Republic that produced the uh, Fonsecas many, many years ago. I had the opportunity to talk to Manny Casada on the phone during the uh, radio program produced here in Louisville, Kentucky by Creamer's Smoke Shop called Cigar Talk. Their guest every week was one of the top cigar makers, Manny Casada, um, Ernesto Perez Carrilla, Carlos Fuente Jr. And other than the fact that you got a free cigar when you called in the show, if you got the trivia question right, you got a pile of cigars. I'm getting way off the mark here, what I want to talk about. But not too far off the mark. You know, I'm a smoker. I make no bones about it. I didn't start smoking cigars, though, until I was 40 years old. Never smoked a cigarette in my life. Or anything. Excuse me. Until I was 40 years old. And you got all these do-gooders. Who want to tell you. But smoking is killing you. You don't want to smoke. Oh. Dad gone. You don't want to do that. It's killing you. You're going to die. Well. Here's what I've discovered, folks. You're going to die of something. Uh, Jocelyn Elder said that. Everybody is going to die of something. Trivia question. Who was Jocelyn Elders? If I'm going to die of something, I want it to be of smoking these beautiful, wonderful cigars that bring me pleasure uh, every day. I make no bones about it. I am a cigar smoker. I love smoking. I make no bones about it. I'm a constitutionalist. I'm a libertarian. I love freedom. I love less government. The only thing that our government should do, as far as I'm concerned, is protect us against foreign invaders, protect our borders against foreign invaders, and keep their fucking hands out of my pocket. Now... Here is, here's what's got me a little fired up today. I'm an advocate for freedom. I'm an advocate for smoking. This is a legal product. Yeah, I've been pissed off in the past when the wonderful, beautiful, feet never touched the ground, mayor of Louisville, Kentucky, Jerry Abramson, deemed it to himself to ban smoking in Louisville, Kentucky. He said it was because he was getting kickbacks. No, wait a minute. No, that wasn't what he said. He said it was because he was paid off. No, wait a minute. That wasn't what he said. He said it was because of the people who didn't smoke, who had to stay cramped up in their homes and couldn't go out to a bar or a restaurant because of all the smokers that were out there. You know, the hell with all the fucking gang members that might be around the corner and night and knock you in the head and steal your fucking wallet and maybe kill you. We're not going to do anything about that. We're going to tell smokers they can't smoke anymore. 
Then, of course, I live in Jeffersonville, Indiana now, and, of course, they got a smoking ban over here, but they're not as bad. Over here, you can't smoke in restaurants, but big fucking deal. You can still smoke at a bar. And if the bar is a bar slash restaurant, as long as you say no one under 21 can come in here to eat, that means if you got kids, you can't come in that restaurant. Now, we'll see how long that lasts. You can still smoke in that bar. So at bar slash restaurant. So that's where I go to eat. Here's the bottom line. It's a legal ob- legal substance. It's not uh, against the law to grow it. It's not against the law to manufacture or sell it. I'm at five minutes. I'm okay. Um, why can't you smoke it? It's going to get to the point where they're going to try to regulate smoking in your home because they're going to say there's a there's an old lady. Uh, Hal and Blind, eight blocks away, who who can s- swear she smells your c- uh, cigar smoke? How do you know? Well, she told me she could tell it was a a, a, a Casa Magna. She knows. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that they, they they can't say that the uh, secondhand smoke goes across the uh, web and into your home if you're smoking cigars with Hal and Blind. I'm getting way off the mark, and I know this is going to be a two-parter, maybe. Here's the topper of all the toppers, folks. Our Pentagon will say, we want to start a war in another country, and yes, you can go over there and get killed. There's billions and billions of bullets flying by your head every day. You could get killed. Okay? So go over there and fight for us. Yeah. But no, you can't smoke. The military, they're, they're, seriously, I, I couldn't believe I saw this. I thought I was uh, having a freaking nightmare. They want to ban smoking by military personnel. Even the ones who are out there in combat, fighting, risking their lives for our country and our freedom that we, what freedom we don't have, taking their freedom away from them to smoke while they fight for our freedom back home to be governed by our government so to the point where it's just starting to look like a fascist country. Let's see how much time I've got. I'm going to have to switch over real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it now. Hang on.